Not everyone has one, but for those who throw bachelor or bachelorette parties, you know a lot of planning and money go into them. One group wound up paying and seeing double when the limo broke down on the way to the party and getting their money back. Well, it wasn't so easy. So they turned to Nita Panetta and got seven on their side. Nina? If you've seen the movie Bridesmaids or even The Hangover, you know a lot can go wrong leading up to the big day. Instead of a fancy dinner, karaoke, and gambling at Atlantic City's hottest new hotel, a Suffolk County bridal party stranded eating pizza near the LIE. And she means everything to me. When we grew up uh, and she had any complications, she looked up to me. From the time he was 15 months old, Peter LaPera had his little sister Christina's back. The siblings are so close, she chose him to be her man of honor. And the dutiful big brother threw her shower and bachelorette bash in Atlantic City. And I put a lot of planning and uh, a lot of effort into making sure things went right for my sister. But things went wrong, as in smoke and limo stranded on the side of the highway wrong, just after the group left Long Island for the Jersey Shore. We uh, get in the limo, everyone's like starting to have a drink, playing some music, and then all of a sudden, you know, we have a stop. Peter says the limo company owner's father showed up on the scene and said the car was unsafe to drive. Smoke started coming out of the engine, pulls on the side of the highway, and that was pretty much the end of our trip. Hours passed with no replacement car, and that's when tempers flared. Four hours later, and you're still giving us an attitude? There's, there's something wrong here. The group hired another limo to try and salvage the night, but by the time they made it to AC, the clubs were all closed. The evening is ruined. All the reservations are ruined. And then what happens is you telling me that you're not going to give me your, my money back. Getting a refund from the limo company fell on mom's shoulders. The service fought her, saying another car was on the way when the kids took off. You never gave us the service. Therefore, you should give us the money back. And they the break. two sides were yes, at a standstill until up. Seven on Your Side broke the stalemate. There's a seven on Your Side was so fantastic in going back and forth. The company got and gave an apology plus a full refund, $13.50. Without seven on your side, there's no way this would have been happened. This would have happened ever. We thank you so, so much. The limo company said they initially refused a refund because they had offered replacement transportation and that Peter and his sister were rude and out of line when the dad was trying to fix the car. Peter and his mom both dispute that. They actually say the opposite was true, but this was days of negotiations. And it seemed like in the end, both parties really wanted an apology. Okay. And you got him. We did. Yes, okay. And well, the money. <laughs> yeah. I still like Peter. He's so good to his sister. He has a great uh, series coming up on National Geographic called oh, American he? Gypsies. Look at oh, that. American Gypsies. <laughs> I'm going to check that out. Thank Way you, to go. Thank you. Okay.